But we are coming up on something. And, uh, Larry, I'd like your take on this, too. You remember that Israel was going to form a new government, right? Well, that's uh, they're working on that. Uh, it appears that Netanyahu's having as much trouble getting a government together and keeping it together as as uh, Trump did, you know, with, with his four years here on, in, in America. Yeah. Well, they claim now, I got this out of Israel, but I don't know if it's true or not, that on May 13th, 2020, May 13th, which is next Wednesday, uh, they will officially form that coalition government. Now, you remember the prophecy of the rabbi? And he said, when you see this as foreign, and we thought that was back when they were even talking about it, and uh, they had actually agreed that this is what they were going to do. Well, now this is the official legal formation on May 13th, they claim. Okay, so the rabbis said, when you see that happen, you will, <clears throat> on the next Sabbath, Antichrist, will be revealed. Now, this is interesting, which would mean that it's the Sabbath. And guess who is showing up for a major, major speech to be carried by all the networks, including Fox News? Barack Hussein Obama will have a one-hour speech, I guess, and all of U.S. media, and of course this probably means around the world as well, will be watching this speech. It begins at 8 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Now, what's very, very interesting about that is uh, what happens uh, because we're very, very close to Pentecost. And, of course, a lot of people think that Jesus will resurrect or come back for his church on Pentecost because the uh, the first Pentecost was when the church began, so therefore it makes total sense that on the last Pentecost uh, the church age would end. So <clears throat> there's a lot of speculation about that. But what's interesting to me is from that speech, all the way over to To Be Of. Now, folks, if you're not familiar with To Be Of, To Be Of is a minor Jewish feast, and a lot, a lot of the rabbis are kind of mystified by it. It's when the uh, girls in Israel dress up in white gowns, and they go out into the fields, and they dance a dance. It is the time when the men of Israel go select their bride. The young men go out and select their brides. Well, that really does look an awful lot like the Jesus Christ coming to select out his brides. You may remember Ken Peters' vision where all of the people that had been resurrected from the plasma uh, global event that uh, blew up all the graves and there was a huge resurrection. All of them had white robes. So it's just very, very interesting. And uh, to be of is that date. It's exactly 80 days from the time Obama speaks to this to be of, which falls on 8 4 2020. Well, what has 80 got to do with anything? Well, it is Israel, under the law of Israel, if a woman gave birth to a girl, she had 80 days to uh, before she was considered clean again. And I find that very, very interesting because there are those who say the church is really a girl, the bride. And so it all kind of ties together, and we are definitely getting closer and closer and closer. Anyway... <clears throat> Just, uh, <laughs> I don't know. It, it just seems odd that on the Sabbath next, 
is when Obama basically will be speaking to the world. The address is for all the graduates of all the schools uh, in the United States and obviously then to the world. Uh, very, very fascinating. In the first place, why would the major networks be car- carrying Obama? You well, know, that's that's not a really hard question, Stuart. They're carrying <laughs> Obama because because the powers that be want that to happen, and the New World Order crowd that is is one of Obama's uh, manipulators want that to happen. And oddly enough, Stuart. Could it be that Obama's forming his new generation of people? Mm-hmm. Be careful about Obama. Now, there's a fellow that goes on YouTube a lot, and he's you got to give the guy credit. He's always out there trying to figure out when the Lord's going to return, and he never gives up, and, uh, and that's good because Jesus said to watch, always watch, and be speculating. There's nothing wrong with it. You're supposed to do that, according to the Lord himself. Anyway, he's very good at it. And what he came up with is kind of interesting. He starts back, now this is all about Barack Hussein Obama. And I had that uh, dream. I'm not going to say God gave it to me, but I think he did. (laughs) And I was teaching prophecy in some room somewhere. I have no idea where I was. And... I'm in the middle of this class, and in walks Obama. Big smile on his face, beautiful suit like he always wears. He walked over to me, and I said, you know you're Lucifer, don't you? And he nodded, smiled, and says, yes, I know. And then I woke up. Well, there have been a lot of Christians who have heard, uh, had visions and dreams about Obama being the son of lawlessness, uh, Lucifer, the Antichrist, <clears throat> et cetera, et cetera. Anyway, um, this fellow, Steve Fletcher, has done a lot of work on the possibility that something is happening right under our nose, and because we're looking in the wrong direction, we're not watching it, we're not seeing it. And uh, you remember when Jesus said that the first shall be last and the last shall be first. Now, Israel was the first with their Davidic Abrahamic covenant. The church is last with the return covenant. It's a heavenly covenant, a promise of the Lord to come get his bride and take her to heaven, to the Father's house. So... Uh, the other covenants, the Abrahamic and Davidic, which were made to Israel, are earthly covenants. The two don't hit. They're, they're not the same at all. People mix that up, but they are totally different. Anyway, <clears throat> what's interesting is, and I read a book a long time ago by a, pro, a theological or prof, prophetic guy, a professor. He was an older fella from Bethel University over in Minneapolis, Minnesota, in which he said we've got it all wrong, that what we have to do is we have to add 1260, 1290, plus 1335. In other words, you don't take the 1290 and add 45 days to it to get to the 1335. You have to take the whole thing And you add together 1260 plus 1290 plus 1335. And uh, he presented a very solid scholarly argument of the language. He said, this is how it's read, and this is how you have to read it. Well, that changes things a bit. And uh, what Steve Fletcher has done is some of the things that Obama has done. He starts off with the Nobel Peace Prize that Obama was awarded. Remember that? Back in October 9th, 2009. And wasn't that the time, Larry, when they had that very strange spiral appear over the side of Norway? Yeah, I believe it was, actually. Well, anyway, 
this gets even more interesting. Uh, and that happened, October 9, 2009, just happened to be the seventh day of tabernacles, which, of course, is when Jesus himself revealed who he was to Israel. That was on the Feast of Tabernacles. Anyway, to, uh, to some of the Christians who were really watching, they thought, hmm, that's odd. We have this agreement, this covenant of many where Christ, uh, uh, or rather Obama, you know, more or less said, well, we've got to have world peace. And remember that he was presented really as a peacemaker. And Daniel says, by peace he destroys many. Anyway, I guess you could stretch that any way you want, but Obama was hailed as a messiah. If you remember, all of the news people were more or less pointing to Obama as the messiah who was going to come and save the world, the great peacemaker. So, anyway, we start there, according to uh, Steve Fletcher. This is zero point to covenant exactly 1260 days later obama is in the most holy place of the christians which is the grotto where christ was born at least that's what everybody uh reveres that as so that would be to the christians a holy of holies which is very, very interesting, because it's 1,260 days later when when the uh, abomination stands in the holy place, standing where it ought not. Uh, This is kind of interesting, because to Israel, what they're referring to is the holy of holies in the temple. So these signs are basically for the church, and only the church would understand it which is like to be of. The rabbis cannot understand it because they don't understand Jesus coming back to pick up his bride. So to them, it's just kind of like a Valentine's Day. Anyway, so then you go from the abomination, and by the way, that occurred on March 22nd, 2013, which is a 322 Skull and Bones time. That's their number, Skull and Bones, 322. It's also the time when the uh, dedication of the uh, Georgia Guidestones was on 322. You can look it up. It's right in the picture, dedicated on 322. Skull and Bones Day, death. Number 23, number of death. Anyway, from that time, then you add the 1,290 days, and uh, that lands on the Feast of Trumpets. And Obama had just been in Israel, and he issued a Feast of Trumpets speech from the White House. That was his last Feast of Trumpets speech, because that was uh, seven and a half about years ago that he had been elected president. So and it, it's a very interesting speech uh, about uh, making the world a kinder, more peaceful place, and blah, blah, blah. Anyway, then what's kind of interesting is if you add 1335 days, guess where it lands? Pentecost. <laughs> this year. Pentecost this year. Wow. So when you add that in with Obama making the speech uh, with the rabbi and the Sabbath, the next Sabbath, and four days later, Obama is to make his speech at 8 p.m. about the new order of things. Obviously, he's going to be talking about that. And like you just said, Larry, is this a speech to the young? Which I believe it is. And those are the ones who are going to put him in office again. And while you say you can't. Well, if Michelle, now they're working on Michelle being in. Well, if Michelle gets in, Obama's right behind her. Or him, however you want to look at that. Anyway, I just thought all that was kind of interesting, folks. I don't know if it means a thing, but don't be surprised if it does. And don't be surprised if it doesn't. And 
and uh, what else you got, Larry? Uh, 